Hey y'all, welcome back for another hunting ammo ballistics gel test. Today we've got a heavy hitter, Norma Bond Strike 180 grain and 300 Winchester Magnum. And here is your very cool looking box for that Norma Bond Strike 100, let me flip it around the other way, 180 grain, 300 wind mag load. We have tested this in 308 Winchester, 30-06, uh, 65 Creedmoor, I believe, and now 300 win mag so i'm really curious to see how it does it has performed very well up to this point a lot of promo information here here i'll pull this up close to the camera feel free to stop pause and read that if you would like talks about the bond strike bullet coming on down we've got a little sort of impact chart kind of what the bullet's supposed to look like at impact at various distances of course we'll be doing it at 100 yards that's the range that we have available to us should hold together and then right here is some more information. I want to point out it says Bond Strike is specifically developed for high precision and performance at normal to long hunting ranges. Keyword normal because we're going to be testing this at 100 yards. I don't have the ability to test it further than that yet. I will be adding distance to the range at some point. But today we're doing it at 100 yards so it should perform. Let's go ahead and open it up and take a look. And per usual, Norma comes in these handy little polymer holders. You can crack it in half. Got two five rounders. You can throw one in your pack or your pocket. And you push down here, push up to get them out of there, whip it out. Norma ammo is always just incredibly high quality appearing. And in my experience, it's been high quality across the board in many ways. But let's go ahead and shoot this and see how it does. And my test rifle today is my Ruger M77 Hawkeye Hunter, chambered in 300 Winchester Magnum, of course. It's got a 24 inch barrel and we are taking advantage of that threaded muzzle. And up top, we've got a Leopold VX3 HD scope. And coming on back, I've got to show you one of my handmade leather cartridge cuffs. Check out my website, masonleather.com to get yourself one. I would love to make you one. And we've got 300 wind stamped right in to let everybody know the hammer is about to fall. And I've also got one of my super thick Latigo leather slings. Check out my website for these as well. If you're looking for a leather sling that will last you a lifetime, you're going to want to check these out. And coming around to the other side, I've got to show you my Black Bear design. And real quick, if you're watching this video anytime around when it came out, I'm having a huge sale on my website, masonleather.com. Go check it out and get yourself something. We'll be taking three shots from 100 yards, firing into 10% ballistics gel that has been calibrated to meet the FBI's ballistics testing protocol. And while ballistics gel isn't an exact proxy for big game, it does provide a repeatable medium through which to test various bullets and ammo against each other. After the shots, we'll examine bullet expansion, weight retention, penetration, and velocity. My goal is to provide hunters like you and I with the most objective information possible to help us make the best choice for our particular hunting situation. The ballistics gel in this video has been sourced from Clear Ballistics. You can find a link in the description. So let's go ahead and shoot it. And here are your velocities for that 180 grain Norma Bond Strike out of the 300 Win Mag. Minimum 2919, maximum 2945 for an average of 2930. And we are down at the blocks after shooting that Norma Bond Strike 180 grain stuff out of the 300 Winchester Magnum. And it turned these Bond Strikes into absolute pancakes, like flattened. This is crazy, y'all. Let's go ahead and look at penetration. The first one right there is at, we'll give it 17 inches. And I mean, that thing is like a pancake. So 17 inches, we'll give that one eh, 21 and a half. And then the deepest one right there is about, the edge of it's kissing 22 and a half. And these things are just smushed. I mean, it's the same bullet as in the 308 Winchester and 30-06 Bond Strike. But as you can see with the increased velocity of 300 Winchester Magnum, we get a little bit different of a result. Actually, less penetration, which is very interesting. You want to take that into consideration. We get less penetration, but an absolute sledgehammer of a hit upon impact. And these bullets are just flattened out like crazy because coming on back to the first block, this block, I'm not sure if you saw it or not in the, um, the clip that I film with this camera right here, looking at the blocks on impact, this block right here flipped straight up in the air and somersaulted and, and landed way back there. So it was pretty cool looking from my point of view. And unfortunately I was trying to, you know, hit more of the center of the block, but all the bullets go to different points of impact. And I'm just trying to adjust based on my zero, but we have pretty rapid expansion with, you know, before one inch in, 
Here we go, here's a better view. You can see that blue plastic tip that broke off of it and it goes on back, absolutely devastating wound track. And it really it starts to narrow out at about the nine inch mark. So between about three quarters of an inch or so and nine inches, just devastating wound track. And it just slapped this block around. Anyway, so let's go ahead and dig these guys out and take a look. All right, y'all, we shot it. Let's talk about it. The 180 grain Norma Bond strike out of the 300 Win Mag. How did it do? Weight retention wise, we saw 144, 151, 151 grains for an average of 149 grains retained weight. That is 83% weight retention, which is a bit low for a bonded bullet. I've actually tested a good little handful of bonded bullets and 300 Win Mag. Some of those videos might not be out yet, but I have the data and this is the lowest weight retention of any of them. Now that said, it's still over 80%. There's still, you know, 149 grains of bullet there. And considering the absolutely insane expansion we got, just look at this photo. I'm not too disappointed with 83% weight retention. Let's jump into expansion, 0.9 inches, 0.98 inches, and 1.1 inches for that bullet all the way on the right. Absolutely insane. That works out to an average of 0.99 inches expanded diameter. You round it up a hundredth of an inch, it's one inch. 3.2X expansion, that is the most expansion I've ever seen out of any load I've tested so far, any of them. It even beat Federal Fusion Tipped, which had 3X expansion and 300 Win Mag. These bullets, look at the photo. I mean, it looks like the T-1000 coming at you. If you don't know what I'm talking about, you need to go back and watch Terminator 2 Judgment Day. That's what this stuff looks like. Absolutely bonkers. And it's not totally uneven expansion. Look at the bullet there on the left. It's pretty even all the way around. Now it's flattened like a pancake, but by golly, most of the bullet is still there. The bullet in the middle is the same way. It looks like the moon landing on there with craters and stuff in it somehow. But again, most of the bullet is still there, which is insane considering what they look like. And in the bullet on the right, the one that was 1.1 inches across, it is a little bit uneven, but my gosh, even if you measure it the other way, it's still massive. And I think it alludes to what this ammo is really meant for. On the box, it says, let me see, let me pull the box out real quick. I got it right here. On the side of the box there under bond strike, it does say long range hunting. So this ammo is intended to be able to perform at long range. And I think with the performance we've seen at 100 yards, it'll definitely do it further out. And on to velocity, our high velocity was 2946, our low was 2920 for an average of 2930 versus the box spec of 3084 feet per second. So we came in 154 feet per second slower than box spec. Not super surprising, unfortunately, it's more common than not. I've got some 300 wind mag loads that came a lot closer and even beat box spec out of the same rifle, so it is what it is. And our estimated velocity down there at 100 yards is 2,740 feet per second. And on to penetration, and this is interesting, we saw 17 inches, 21 and a half inches, and 22 and a half inches for an average of about 20 and a half inches of penetration. And you might say, well, I mean, that's really not that much for a 300 Winchester Magnum. I would think it would go deeper. Well, remember, looking at the bullets, they're absolutely massive. They expanded to ludicrous dimensions. So to get 20 and a half inches of penetration on average, I think is incredible. These bullets are, you know, flying through the target one inch in diameter, and they still went past that 20 inch mark I like to see for medium game hunting. And I think this alludes to how these would perform at longer range. I think they would do really good. We'll talk about that in a second. And kinetic energy wise with 180 grain bullet going on average 2,930 feet per second, we're looking at 3,431 foot pounds at the muzzle and 2,999 foot pounds down there at 100 yards. And that's actually towards the upper end of what I've seen from factory 300 Win Mag ammo and the actual velocities they produce. They tend to be in the 3,200 to 3,500 foot pound range. And we're up there towards the top of that. And a quick announcement before we get to my final thoughts. If you'd like early access to my videos weeks and even months in advance of everyone else, become a channel member. The links will be in the video description and the pinned comment. Thanks y'all. All right, y'all, time for my final thoughts on this Norma Bond Strike 180 grain load out of the 300 Win Mag. This stuff was crazy. 
biggest expansion ever of any load that I have tested. 3.2x expansion. We got the Terminator coming back from the future coming at you with this stuff. Weight retention was pretty good for the amount of expansion, 83%. I wish it would have been a little bit more. No doubt at longer range, and it's you know it says on the box, box long range hunting, no doubt at longer range you'd see much higher weight retention and of course reduced expansion. But even at 100 yards, I'm really happy with what I'm seeing, all things considered. And penetration wise, an average of 20 and a half inches, again, I'm surprised it even did that with how big these things got. And I think that really alludes to great long range performance with how big these things got and how deep they went at 100 yards, I think they would do even better further out. And at some point when I'm able to, I'm gonna extend my range at least to 300 yards, maybe more. And I'll be able to test some of this, you know, long range intended ammunition at actual, you know, at least longer ranges to see what it does. If you wanna help me do that, become a channel member. It'll help out. It's time and money and everything helps. And also keep in mind, it's not just meant for long range hunting. Right here on the box, it says, it says Bond Strike is specially developed for high precision and performance at normal to long hunting ranges. So they intend this stuff to perform well, even at, you know, normal hunting ranges, which I think most people would consider probably about 100 yards. Most deer are shot at 100 yards and in. And this stuff did perform well at 100 yards. Now, would it be my top choice for, you know, elk, moose, you know, your bigger North American game? At close range, no, it wouldn't. I want something that penetrates deeper than this does for those bigger animals. But if I knew that my shot, you know, more often than not was gonna be at extended ranges, this would be a great contender. But if I were hunting, you know, I don't know, elk in Oregon or something in the rainforest by the coast, and I knew my shots were gonna be pretty close, you know, inside 100 yards, I might move more towards something that doesn't expand, you know, quite as much as this does at that distance. I want something that'll penetrate a little more. There's always a give and take. If you've used this load on game, let me and everyone else know how it did down in the comments. And check out my website, masonleather.com, and get yourself some leather gear handmade by me just for you. I've been handcrafting leather gear for hunters for over a decade and I would love to make you something. And there are hundreds of reviews on my website so you can see what real hunters have to say about their mason leather gear. And also tons of photos showing all the customizable options, including name, initial, and caliber stamping as well as wild game designs and more. Everything is handmade by me right here in the USA. I would love to be a part of your hunt through my leather gear. And it helps support this channel so I can bring you more hunting ammo ballistics gel tests and lots of other cool stuff in the future. The link will be in the video description and the pinned comment, or you can just type masonleather.com into your web browser. And click one of these cards for more hunting ammo ballistics gel tests.